is a natural wish every day. you want to be better with God for sure in your relationships with people on your job with your goals every day Wow, the Lady Reverend James Cleveland right here in the Songbook of Gospel. I just love that song. That's a classic right here, the Southern California Choir. That's the combined choirs with the Lady Reverend James Cleveland. Please thank your father. Make me better. Make me better in my mind. Make me better in my thoughts. Make me better in my health. For those of you that can see the video, hello, I see you. Thank you so much for checking us out right here on my YouTube channel, Trusted Voice and Radio. You can subscribe to that channel and get frequent updates on, you know, live videos and inspirational moments and exclusive interviews. If you want to be here at the home of Studio 236 that I own and operate right here in Philadelphia. For many years, that information is going to scroll across the screen. Feelgoodman number one at yahoo.com or 215-224-4297. Reach out to me. I'm just a few seconds away from responding to you and invite you here for an exclusive interview. Find out more about what you're doing because I know there's some special things that you're doing. So make sure you reach out. Feelgoodman number one at yahoo.com or 215-224-4297. Well, it is the fall season and it is getting close to the end of October. So if you're celebrating a birthday uh, for the month of October, happy birthday to you. I want to say happy birthday to my oldest brother, um, Wesley Sylvester Malone. He's going to be celebrating his birthday by the end of the month. So we salute him and we're praying for the Malone family and the Latson family and Hughes family all the time. And we're praying for you that God will make you better. I'm not going to waste any time. You know, when I come on with an inspiration, a moment, God has deposited this word into my spirit that I believe is going to help you and your development. This word is for me, brother, minister Malone first, before I execute this word to you. So God placed this word in my spirit with everything that is going on around us. We have to always strive to be better. If you're not one of those individuals that want to be better, there's something wrong with you. You need to stay on your knees and pray and ask God to change your heart and change your life. Because every day, I, j- I just want to be better. I just want to be a better Simone Malone. What about you? Somebody can say amen under the video when you see this, of course. I want to talk about, and that's going to scroll up above my head there. The title of this message is Better Together. Better Together together. I don't know about you, but I feel that we as a people, and it goes back to our times of slavery, our times in the 60s with Dr. Martin Luther King on those marches, you know, down there in in Alabama and down south, that he always wanted a better nation. He wanted people to be better together. We're still fighting for that in our freedom and our associations every day, you know, with politics and wars and different things that are going on. It should be a better together nation. So today I want to talk about better together. I don't know about you, but I want God to make me better together with people, my family or my job, things that I do every day. So we're going to go right here in the book of Acts. 
chapter number two in the King James Version. Acts number 244 says all the believers were together and had everything in common. Wouldn't it be amazing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and ministers that are watching this wherever you are in whatever city, state or country? Wouldn't it be amazing that we all are common that we all are on the same page that we all believe in the same thing when it comes to doing right but it just doesn't happen that way we would just be better together there wouldn't be so much crime it wouldn't be so much killing it wouldn't be so much bad relationships it wouldn't be so much unemployment it wouldn't be so much death even though it comes but we will be better together as individuals we'll be better together as a group of people that believe in something common what is the common goal that is for us to witness and of course help people to reach the kingdom for sure so once again acts 2 4 44 says that's acts 2 number 44 says all the believers were together and had everything in common what do we have in common huh you know when we have relationships with someone that we love we try to find some commonality i would say or something that's common something that vibes and something that we like about one another that's why you get married because there's something Thing about that person that feels it's a common denominator. You in love with that person and you want to spend your life with that person. You want to be better together. Though we may not be able to understand the generosity sometimes that people may try to give to us, God's people are designed to help each other. The gospel writer Luke described believers in Jesus as devoted to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship. It is our responsibility to help one another. Now, it all depends on what help they need. Sometimes you have to help people financially if you can afford to do that. But you know, it's the little things that we do to help somebody. We can come better together when we help one another. But you know what? What it says, Acts 2.42, when we combine our resources, we can work together to help those in need like the first believers in Jesus did, verse 44 and 45. You got to Go there and read it in the book of Acts. As we grow closer to God and each other, we can care for one another. We wouldn't have so much hate and so much crime and so much disappointment and so much of, 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 the, of the situations that are just distressing to us if we learn to love one another and if we care for one another and if we have a heart that forgives, we can be better together. Somebody can say amen about that. Witnessing God's love devoted through his people's actions can lead others to a saving relationship with Jesus. Somebody can say hallelujah about that. We can serve others with a smile or a kind deed. That's what I try to do every day for what I do in broadcasting, for what I do in investigation. I want to serve the people with a kind smile and a deed. That's verse 46 and 47. As God works in each and every one of us, we are simply better together. Why is it important to experience a community devoted to serving God each day and each other? How can you serve someone selfishly and generously today? How many of you believe that we will be better off if we do things together? Some things we have to do together to get positive results, better together in our community. We need to come together to show one another that we really, really care. Don't just sit on the sidelines and think that this issue is not your issue. When your neighbor is hurting and your family members are hurting and your true friends are hurting, that one that you love is hurting, you can become better together when you pray and when you talk to God and when you give each other advice and you hold each other up and you give each other a hug and say, I love you and I care for you. As a woman of God and as a man of God, you have to learn to help one another. How do you expect for us to be better together? We got to try to reach this goal, which is heaven. Right down here on earth, we deal with so many trials and tribulations. You have to work for the Lord and attack all of your obstacles with prayer and enthusiasm. But I believe that this word that God has placed in my spirit, that if we do things together on the same page and the same attitude, the same compassion, we will be better together. Somebody can say amen. I know you're saying amen in your spirit. You're talking to me, Simone. I know you can say that I want to be a better person in society. I want to be a better person to my children. I want to be a better person on my job. I just want to be an overall 
better person so that people can accept me. People can love me. People can understand me. People want to be around me. Thank you, Father, when we work better together. How many of you know? How many of you know that we must? We must as we move into this next season of our lives. We have to be better together. We got to be better together as neighbors. We got to be better together as church members. We got to be better together as pastors and bishops and lay members. Somebody can say amen. We got to be better together. I don't know about you, but I want to be better together with my colleagues and with my friends and my family. Let's begin to trust God that in this process of whatever we have been going through, whatever shame and disappointment, whatever hurt, whatever abuse that we've been through, whatever neglect that we have been through, that we can come better together. Oh my God, right there in the word of the Lord, it says it in Acts number 244. You got to go there and read it. Got to go there and read it, Bible believers. All the believers were together and had everything in common. That even means that when they were going through, they all came together to help one another. Stop standing on the sidelines. Stop being selfish. Stop thinking that that's just their problem. No, we got to get through this thing together. Sometimes we got to remove ourselves from certain situations after you have done your best. But we need to be better together. We can work this thing together. We can ride, take your father, this storm together. When you sicken in your body and you don't know which way to go, we got to pray for one another. We can be better together. You don't need to suffer like that. I'm asking God right now to send angels of healing your way. I'm about to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I feel this word in a mighty way because I don't know about you, but I'm asking God today. And as I move for the rest of this year and go into the new year that's coming up just a couple of months away, that I want to be better in everything that I do. I want to be better in my finances. I want to be better in my associations with people. I want to be better in my church. I want to be even a better broadcaster. I want to even be a better investigator for protecting our older adults. We got to be better together. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for placing this word into my spirit, God, because you spoke to me and you said, Simone, you're doing good, but you can even do better. And I want to do better because my goal is to get to heaven. Heaven is my goal. I don't know about you today, but heaven should be your goal. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I look into this monitor and speak to the people in this camera, wherever they are listening far and near, I ask you to touch them, God. Deliver them, God, from evil right now. Help our people to be better, God. But speak to their individual hearts, God. Heal that broken heart and that pain so they can be better, God. Oh, God, they have sleepless nights, some of our people, God. They're tossing and turning, God. Their thoughts are so confused, God, because they really want to be better, but they don't know how to be better. But help our people today to be better together. God, we will be stronger when we're better together because you said in your word, all the believers should come together on common ground. God, help our people today to have peace and love into their heart. God, bring our people together for the purpose that we need. God, help this city of Philadelphia. God, help those cities wherever they're tuned in from. God, help our families to be better together. God, as we get ready to approach the holiday day season, God. It's all about love and sharing, God. Help our people today, God. Let them know that you have not forgotten them, God. Even with the trials and tribulations that they deal with, the storms may come, God, but we know that we will be better together, God. Help our people to pray together, God. Help them to love together, God. Help them to stay together, God. We don't want divorce happening to our people, God. We don't want our children leaving our homes today, God. Help Help our fathers, God, to stay strong and be leaders to their children, God. Help our mothers, God, to be the right type of parent to their children. God, we can be better together in our schools. Help our teachers today, God. Help our principals and educators today, God. Help our doctors, God. Help our lawyers, God. Help our investigators, God. We all can be better together, God, on a common ground for what we need to do, God. We need each other to survive, God. Help our people today. Oh God, I feel this word in a mighty way. Help our people today to be better together, God, because when we're better together, God, we get results, God. Oh God, we can solve some of the problems of our country. We can solve some of the problems in our community. Help our people in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, thank you, Father. Help our people today to be better, better together. I pray that this word was a blessing to you. When you get a chance, I want you to go there and read Acts chapter 
chapter 2. Read the whole chapter. Once again, it says all the believers worked together and had everything, everything in common. We can, uh, we can be better. Thank you, Father, together. Let's do it. Let's do it in Jesus' name.